This presentation covers an overview of EDI and Sage X3, an overview of EDI common setup, EDI flow definition, and EDI associations. Electronic Data Interchange, EDI, is a computer-to-computer -computer exchange of business documents in a standard electronic format between business partners. EDI refers to the sending and receiving of electronic documents with partners such as customers and suppliers. EDI reduces the processing cost and time by eliminating paper-based operations and it automates and secures these exchanges while maintaining real-time visibility of all transactions performed. When exchanging data, the sender and receiver must agree to use the same communication standard and protocols. It is a must to use identical formats for the exchange to happen. Sage X3 comes with a standard format setup. It enables the sequential file transfer where EDI translators or partners match the data to be exchanged. Before EDI can be used, a few prerequisites must be met. The EDI X3, Paperless Document Exchange Activity Code and EDI DB must be active. Also, user's functional profile must be set up to authorize EDI management. Sage X3 EDI comes with two universally predefined partners. EDI.com and Tenor. Other partners are also declared in Sage X3 such as EDI SOH XML, Factory, Chorus, and EDI Deb. Other partners can be declared too. For each new partner, the following must be specified. EDI Code and Description. EDI partner type whether it is a BP company control or a company control, a category code, and a protocol. The exchange of documents in Sage EDI is defined as categories. Each category is based on a category type and is predefined in Sage X3. The following are the documents supported Purchase invoice, Sales invoice, Purchase order. Sales Order, Sales Delivery, and Sales Delivery Notification. Also, it is possible to define unlimited number of categories for each category type. The main features of EDI categories are The category type whether it is a sales delivery, a sales order, or an invoice. The action needs to be performed such as send or receive. The operation performed, whether on create, on update, or on read. Each category must be linked to a triggering table and is considered the main table of the category. The fields of the table can be used as a selection or filtering criteria when launching the generation of EDI outbound messages in the category. The fields of the table can be used to apply controls to the rights and authorizations of outbound transmission. They are also used by the system to find the EDI identification number. EDI Protocols Sage X3 comes with two predefined types of protocols. The directory type protocol, which is based on file exchanges performed via exchange directories and declared volumes. The email type protocol, this protocol is used to only send files without being able to receive. Directory type protocol. Two protocols are available to exchange sequential files. EDI.com and Tenor. These protocols are used by partners with the same name, EDI.com and Tenor, to exchange XML files. EDI.deb is used by the fictional EDID partner. Email type protocol. When using this protocol, the following elements need to be entered. The value of each parameter that is used to send the email, SMTP and THEME. The email address destination. BP a web and CNT web the subject and the message body once the protocol is defined it is linked to one or several EDI partners one or several flows a list of flows linked to a protocol can be viewed in the flows section flow definition the flow definition is found in sage x3 EDI EDI setup section and it contains the following EDI message mapping Associating the information of a message linked to a category with the information of a Sage X3 representation. EDI sequential file. 
used to predefining the EDI format of the sequential files. EDI Upload XSD File Used to upload the files of the XSD scheme is used to define and validate the formats of the exchanged XML files. EDI XML Files This uses the XSD structure to predefine the EDI format used for the XML files to be sent and received. EDI Flow Defining a flow means creating a package of EDI messages by grouping required parameters to implement an exchange. When the flow is defined, it means creating a package of ED messages. It groups different parameters to implement an exchange by specifying the partner. The partner will determine the protocol to be used. The protocol cannot be entered. It is the protocol associated with the EDI partner by category. The category in a flow messages always belong to the same category. This category must be linked to the entered partner. The action determines whether it is sent or received and the type of operation of creating or deletion. Message mapping. A message mapping linked to this category, along with the messages associated with this mapping. The protocol must have a protocol to communicate. Association is used to link SageX3 companies, sites, and BP by identification number for each EDI partner. An EDI partner must be granted authorizations in order to perform exchanges with companies, sites, and BP. These authorizations are called associations. The associations are by company, by site, by BP. Once established, the flows linked to this partner for a given association of BP, companies, are displayed on the flows tab. This video shows how to associate an EDI partner with a Sage X3 company. In this video, I'm going to show you how to associate a company declared in Sage X3 with an EDI partner. In the EDI section, EDI Setup, Associations, click EDI Partners slash Company, click Create. In the Company field, enter the company code you want to use and then select the EDI partner. To establish this association you need to first specify the identification type you want to use then assign an EDI identification number to this association. This number can be entered freely. You can also specify that this number must be one of the identification numbers of the company. It could be the fiscal code or it could be the DUNS number, Data Universal Numbering System. If the DUNS number is selected, it can be entered on this screen. Finally, enter the EDI code which identifies the company receiving and sending out documents. This identification authorizes the company to perform EDI exchanges with this EDI partner. Once the information is entered, click Save to create the new record. This video shows how to associate an EDI partner with a Sage X3 site. In this video, I'm going to show you how to associate an EDI partner with a site. In the EDI section, EDI Setup, Associations, click EDI Partners slash Site, click Create. Enter the site that you want to create the association for. Select the EDI partner from the list. For the site identifier, select free for the identification type. Then enter the EDI code in the EDI code field. And finally, click Save to create a new record for the EDI partner by site.
This video shows how to associate an EDI partner with a Sage X3 business partner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to associate a BP address declared in Sage X3 with an EDI partner. In the EDI section, EDI setup, associations, click EDI partners slash BP, click create, enter the BP code, select the address you want to use, then select the EDI partner from the list. In the Company Identifier section, you need to specify the identification type you want to use and then assign an EDI identification number to the association. This number can be entered freely. You can also specify that this number must be one of the identification numbers of the BP. It could be the fiscal code, it could be the local code, the data universal number and system code, or the GLN code, the global location number. This identification is necessarily to authorize the BP address to be used for the EDI exchange with the EDI partner. In addition, you can enter an EDI identification code provided by the partner. In the Operating Site section, it's possible to enter codes for each operating entity and once that is done, click Save to create the new record. This video shows how to associate an EDI flows by BP company. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an EDI flows by BP slash company. In the EDI section, EDI setup, associations, click EDI flows by BP slash company. Click create. Enter the BP code. Enter the company code. Enter the EDI code. Select the EDI partner from the list. Then, in the flow section, click the plus sign and select a category code from the list. Select a flow ID. Then, click Save to create a new record.